I've never shared this story, and I don't think anyone's heard it like this before. When my little girl was only two and a half, we talked adoption. I said, oh, it'll be hard, but it'll be worth it. She says, this is Brenda. I can live that moment forever, even if I get to be 200 years old. When we got married, we were so happy. I had seven children, and the whole seven of them were taken. But we knew in our hearts that we'd get them back. When I came back to my black family, I felt like I was intruding in on their family. I knew I had fragmented memories of a little white sister. I had to get answers. I had to go back. This is your street, Brenda. That's the place where we were deemed neglected children. When I went back into my welfare files, it just didn't add up. I started getting more flashbacks, more memories. Brenda. I said to her, make sure that when you get older, you come and find us. And she said, I will, I will. I realised that there was a deeper love there that nothing could take away. And suddenly, I received this letter. What? We thought we were the heroes, but we would end up being the villains. They were lied to, and we were lied to. I'm sharing truth on both sides of the story. In our culture, that's what we did. We shared stories. I just like to prove that this Aboriginal lady was a good mother. I looked after her. We were just hoping to get back some of the history that we'd lost with her. Together, we can find a way to the real truth. The true history of this country has not been told. to focus on the love. I'm just reflecting my father and mother, black and white.